Hi, I'm Calvin. This is the third video in my minting NFT series. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to batch mint NFTs in a series, and I'll also teach you how to organize your NFTs into collections to be displayed on different marketplaces. In the first video of this series, I showed you how to mint your own independent smart contract on Manifold Studio. In the second video, I showed you how to mint a single NFT onto that smart contract. If you haven't watched those videos yet, I would recommend that you go back and watch them first, as it will be helpful here. If you've already watched them, I would really appreciate if you could like and subscribe. Thank you. Let's get started. So series minting is a way that you can actually batch mint NFTs. So instead of minting one at a time like we were doing before, you can batch mint an entire series of NFTs. I believe at this time, it's only available for ERC-721 contracts, and it's only available for images. You can also only mint up to 200 in a batch mint. Manifold, at this time, suggests that if you're minting more than five NFTs, you can mint them as a series and you will save on gas. The more you mint, the relatively more you will save on gas. We'll also be allowing it for multiple file types, like videos in the future as well. So I can create a new series here. This is where I can create the title and this will be applied across the entire series of this batch mint. So I can call this uh, my first series, artist name, Callum. And I don't have to include a description now because I can do that for each NFT in this series independently if I would like to. However, if you have a shared description, this is a series of images shot in Canada. That will automatically be populated throughout all of the NFTs in this series. If you have more questions about batch minting, you can go to the Manifold docs and they have some great information here that explains a bit more how this works and whether it is going to be more efficient for you based on gas to mint. So I believe there are also additional ways that you can connect that make it even more efficient for batch minting, but that's an advanced feature that most people will not need. So if you click on the addition series button, you can only upload a single file and it will then ask you how many you would like to actually create as an addition. But I'm not gonna do this one as an addition. I'm gonna use it as individuals to show you the difference. So now I can go and upload files. And you can see that it has uploaded all of the images at the same time. So I can go between them. You can go between next and previous asset. So it allows you to quickly go through and edit all of the different NFTs that you're minting as part of this series. Even though you're limited to minting 200 NFTs as a single series, you can mint as many series as you would like to. So it's more about batch minting to save on gas. So a question that I've been getting is, if we are minting each of these NFTs on the same smart contract, how can we get them to display as a collection on, for example, OpenSea? So there are two different ways that you can do this. The first way is by creating an independent contract for each collection that you would like to have. This is a bit more expensive because you have to mint each contract and there's a new gas fee for each contract deployment. But there is also the possibility that you will make it confusing for your collectors when you can't trace a single blockchain of provenance back to the original artist contract. So the other way to do it with maintaining provenance is you can actually add collection as a property. If, for example, this was my Genesis collection, I can add a new property text, call it collection, and call this Genesis. So now what will happen is each of these assets will be sorted into the same property on OpenSea, the property of collection, with the value of Genesis. That means that you will be able to 
sort through your different NFTs under the same contract on OpenSea. So that way you only have to have a single contract, but can still mint multiple collections from that contract. Once I've gone through and included all of the images that I would like to have in this series, I can mint them to Rinkaby. So this has an additional signature requirement where I first have to register the batch minting extension and that has its own gas fee. This only has to be done once. I then have to provide a signature to actually engage and interact with the contract itself. Uh, I believe there's one more signature after this. Yes, so the second signature was to connect the contract to the extension. And then the third signature will be to actually mint the NFT. Huzzah. There, so now we can go and check it out on OpenSea. There we go. So now you can see that it's still under the same artist as Callum. It is under the series of my first series and it has the collection title of Genesis. So now when I go into my properties under the contract of Callum with the artist Callum, I can see all of the images that are under my Genesis collection. So you can create as many collections as you would like here. Now you'll notice that I called this my first series and this gave the same title for each of the works. It's possible to instead upload the files as a series to Manifold Studio and then edit the title of each NFT individually. So just because it has auto-populated the title does not mean that you have to have every NFT have the same title. So again, we can go back and we can see now there are a couple other properties. There's collection, which we can sort by Genesis, or we could sort by genre. This provides a really cool opportunity for each artist to develop an organizational system for displaying their NFTs on different marketplaces in a way that appeals to their potential collectors. A benefit of minting under the series is that these NFTs will forever be grouped together as being minted under the same transaction. So what that means is if you wanted to go through and make independent changes to the NFTs, like add a new property, for example, when you go to update the NFTs onto blockchain, you only have to pay for a single gas fee to update all of the NFTs in that series. So that kind of takes a bit of the stress away from trying to figure out all of the properties that you may want to have now. You can update them easily in the future as a single transaction, only having to pay one gas fee. An advantage of using an independent smart contract like Manifold is that you can go and update the metadata at a later time because you have minted the NFT from the contract that you have ownership with. So that allows you to forever be able to go in and change it if you notice a mistake or if you would like to modify your marketing strategy to include a different property. So again, you can add as many tokens as you want under the same contract, which is just really handy for being able to provide a single source of provenance for any of your collectors. Manifold independent contract allows you to always indicate whether or not a piece of art is tied to a single contract. So that can be really handy when you then are trying to check the authenticity of a work in Web3. You can always trace it back to the person who originally minted the contract and minted the NFT to that contract. So let's say I wanted to add this photo of the Milky Way to my Genesis collection. I can add a new property of collection and value of Genesis. I can mint this to Rinkopy. And when I go to look on OpenSea, I can see that it has auto-populated the properties for this photo. And I can see that it's been added to the Genesis collection. So now I can go click on that 
property and see all of the images that have been sorted into that collection based on the property. Now I'll show you how easy it is to mint an entire new collection of NFTs to your smart contract. So we can go back to the dashboard and go to series so that we could batch mint a new collection, add a new series, artwork title, I'll call this one Africa under Callum. Some of my favorite shots from a life changing trip. So for this one, I can upload some more photos. Let's see. So it has detected some metadata for the different photos. I might as well include them all because I can go through and delete each one individually afterwards. Okay, so like we were talking about before, you can now scroll through all of the different photos. You can modify each photo as needed. So for example, perhaps I don't want to call this artwork title Africa, but I want to call it Africa Mountain Gorilla. I can go through and add a new property of collection and I can call this one Africa. We'll go to the next asset. New property. Just for fun, for this one, I will also add this as part of the genre of astrophotography. So now, because we're dealing with batch minting, we can mint all of these to Rinkeby at the same time. The first interaction that we had before is no longer needed. We don't have to mint the extension to the contract, we do have to sign to allow the contract to interact with the batch minting extension. Now I am confirming the mint signature. Now we can go check out the series on OpenSea. And now you can start to see how the properties are changing to update with the new NFTs that are minted. So you can see that it has the collection trait of Africa. It has the camera. All of them are under the same artist, the same contract. And I can go click on the collection to see what other photos or NFTs I have included under this collection. But now if I remove the collection, it has just the artist, Callum. And I can go through and see the entire series that I have minted, or multiple series in this case. These are the additions and the Africa photos. So I can go down to collection now where I have two different collections. I have the Africa collection and I have my Genesis collection. This provides a very simple way to mint multiple collections without having to mint multiple contracts. At this time, this is the only way to sort between the different contracts, but Manifold is working on integrating a collection-based metadata pulling system to separate them automatically into different contracts. So that's a feature that may be added in the future. And there you have it. We can mint as many NFTs as you would like under your own independent smart contract. The next step, the final step, is to go and select which NFT or which series you would like to mint to, to mainnet. So by clicking on mainnet, it will begin to upload the files to Arweave which is the decentralized storage system that Manifold uses. 
It doesn't cost anything at this time. Manifold is paying for the Rweave storage. And once it's uploaded to Rweave, you then merely have to click sign with your MetaMask. So to check what the gas and fee are going to be, we can switch back to mainnet, switch network, and we can get a cost estimate here. So at this time to mint one ERC token costs about 0 0.006 ETH, which is just so cheap. Like that's incredible that Manifold is able to have such an efficient contract to mint an NFT for such a low amount. For context, that's $9 US, uh, which in the past when I've looked at this, it has costed anywhere from 100 to 200 to mint a single NFT. So that is why it may be worth checking to see what the gas prices are at at a given time. And don't forget that you also need to go through and set your royalties. So you can go back to your wallet overview and click on set up royalties. And this can be done here under settings to set the contract that you would like the royalties to be given to for all of your tokens. And then if you want to go through and change individual tokens, perhaps because you've collaborated with someone on a token, you can modify the token settings for the royalties of each independent token. So there you have it. I hope that this was a helpful tutorial. Please feel free to let me know if you have any questions. And please, if you don't mind, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe. I'm just starting my channel out and I am looking to grow to help as many people learn about NFTs as I can. So I appreciate any support that you can provide. Thank you very much.